Your door was locked? Hey there, it's An Kim, and today we're talking about Road 96 Mile Zero. If you're a fan of the previous Road 96 game, you're probably wondering if this prequel lives up to its predecessor. Well, let's find out. Speaking about the new things we have in this game, first off, the rhythm minigames are a blast. They throw me back to the nostalgia of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater with great music to accompany while rail sliding. And speaking of good music, I was pleasantly surprised when The Offspring started playing. As expected, it's clear that the developers once again put a lot of effort into curating a high-value music soundtrack. These fast-paced and rhythmic side games play a big part in the whole game because eventually you will have to make a decision that will somehow affect the story, by going left or right. There's also a high score in every single one of them, so those who lean more towards the competitive side won't be disappointed. There are plenty of other minigames available, like newspaper delivery or graffiti your own hideout wall, and those are quite pleasant. I have to admit, I'm not the most artistic person, but I am still very proud of my creations. I'm thinking about renovating the hideout with some improved graffitis, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. As you may see, you do not want to miss that. Playing arcade games or even a Connect 4 Duel is also in there. As you can see, there are a lot of these fun side minigames to enjoy. Going into the game mechanics now, I can tell you that eating and drinking are still in the game, but honestly, I'm not sure what the point is. The stamina slash health bar we once knew to leave at the top is now nowhere to be found as, as far as I can tell, there's really no point in consuming these calories. The game loop mechanic now appears to be mainly making choices between one side or the other for our two playable characters. This will most likely define your endgame. It's nice that we get to see a lot of the characters from the previous game like Sonya or my personal favorite Jared. However, I do think that Mile Zero feels like a single narrow story you're navigating through unless like a game with a lot of variety, twists and turns. The new minigames are a nice innovation. Talking specifically about the skating one, sometimes the graphics can be a bit overwhelming. We get to roller skate through blinking hearts of love while trying not to hit our heads on a giant's hand. It almost feels like the graphics can get in the way of the gameplay because at times it's just way too much happening. Or maybe I'm getting old, one or the other. Perhaps that's the objective, to make it hard for players to reach the maximum score. Graphically, it is exactly what one could expect, with no big differences in comparison to its predecessor and the performance is great. I played with a mouse and keyboard on the PC version, but full controller support is also available. The price point is 13 US dollars, which to me sounds fair. I would suggest looking for a bundle of both games if you are thinking about buying it but haven't played the first one yet. This is likely to offer you a better price. All in all, I'd say that Bro 96 Mile Zero is a different game within the same genre and with some of the same characters. However, if you haven't played Bro 96, I recommend starting with that one first, as it's better in almost every way. Bro 96 Mile Zero is not a bad game, but it doesn't live up to the standards set by the previous one. Nevertheless, it's still a game that I recommend. If you liked this Road 96 Mile Zero review video, don't forget to hit that like button. It always helps a ton in reaching new viewers and getting my work out there. This game is an April 2023 top indie game pick for me. Watch my 5 top picks and learn about the remaining 4. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.